Hey, Andres, thanks for the talk. Um, do you mind commenting quickly on um, alternative consensus mechanisms that are being proposed in different blockchain environments, um, and maybe how that impacts you know, what your view is on the private versus public blockchain space as well? Thanks. I think consensus algorithms are really a very interesting area. Um, it's basically a new science. Uh, started in January 3rd, 2009, with one. And if you look at the the number of academic pa academic papers published in this space, they're growing at a hyperbolic rate at the moment. So hundreds and hundreds of PhD dissertations and papers on consensus algorithms in the last year. And I only expect that pace to increase. I expect we're going to see entire degrees, um, master's degrees perhaps, or postgraduate MPhils or PhDs focused on consensus algorithms. Um, there are many interesting experiments in that space, but to me the really important thing is running your experiment in the wild at scale with real actors, real money at stake, uh, and seeing how it survives in those conditions. Uh, this is not a theoretical science. This is an experimental science where we can run global scale experiments uh, and prove these systems in real terms. And I think that that's really, to use the trite expression, where the rubber meets the road. So until we see large scale deployments of practical use of novel consensus algorithms, I know one that works today, and that's proof of work. We'll see what comes next. That doesn't mean you can't do it another way, uh, but I think it's also important to recognize that different consensus algorithms produce different characteristics and features. Proof of work produces thermodynamically guaranteed immutability, which is something you can't do any other way. Um, and maybe with proof of stake, we're going to see different results, different features, different characteristics. This is a broad ecosystem in which. Uh, different systems will specialize for fitness to a particular niche, uh, application, use case. And there is plenty of room for a lot of competition. This is not the old zero-sum national currency game where in any particular domain there can be only one and it's a winner-takes-all. That's not what we're doing here. It's completely different. <laughs>